Guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. If you make that simple mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on parts and repairs, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Make sure to stay until the end. We'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having Chrysler 300 degeneration here from year 2014 to year 2024. If you need to find where the fuse for the rear window defroster is located, which fuse you need to check. Also guys, uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can buy cheap parts and tools. That way do not waste money and time. So let's start on it now. So guys, before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, that way we can keep making these free videos. We show you how to fix engines, transmission, bodywork, fuses, relays, all that stuff, guys. And if you need to buy cheap parts and tools at a good price, quick shipping, we'll put a link in the description of the video below. Guys, check out our YouTube channels. We have more than 50 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So the rear window defroster fuse, where you can expect to find it, we will demonstrate on the generation Chrysler 300. You have many fuse boxes in that car, but we're working just one that's in the trunk. Open the trunk, leave the carpet liner up on the back side. Underneath you will see the spare tire, car battery, and behind it you have a fuse box. This is a closer look of the same fuse box. Here you have tabs that you need to squish together at the same time, pull the cover out, and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays, at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. So for the rear window defrost, which fuse we need to check now guys, okay, it will be a 30 amp fuse. Now there are different kinds of fuses, uh, we always recommend to keep some spare ones just for peace of mind because those could be hard to find. But if you come guys in this row right here, that last fuse that you see right here, 42, this is the rear window defroster fuse that you will need to check on your Chrysler 300 if it doesn't work. So guys, that generation Chrysler 300 has all kinds of different size of fuses guys. You can see different fuses, relays, uh, that's the engine fuse box, that's the trunk fuse box. Those could be really hard to find some of them guys. And if you're in the middle of nowhere, you need a replacement, you cannot get one, you may be stuck guys. So we will recommend to buy some, put in the glove box uh, for peace of mind, keep some spare ones. Uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Hopefully the video was helpful guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time.